Hello everybody and welcome to another video and good afternoon from Kunming. Kunming is the uh, capital of Yunnan province and it's also known as the city of eternal spring uh, because the weather here is always so fabulous as you can see and uh, today I was just going for a walk and I wanted to talk about a topic which um, I hope you found interesting and that is what is it like being vegetarian in China and throughout the video I may mention uh, being vegan or veganism um, although I've never been vegan don't have any experience with it um, but I just may have men mentioned it occasionally but it's mostly about vegetarianism um, so to answer your question is being vegetarian in China easy uh, and the answer is it's a little complicated um, first thing you need to talk about is how they feel about it in China and the first thing that comes to mind for me is the concept of yin and yang um, in, in the US we just say yin and yang, but um, Chinese, as you may or may not know, is a tonal language, um, meaning that however you say the word, if you change the tone, it can change the meaning, um, which is a little frustrating uh, for foreigners to learn Chinese as well as other Asian languages. Um, but yin and yang, uh, the idea is that, um, that everything is balanced, everything requires balance, there's always an opposite and opposites of, of, often uh, complement each other and you can't have one without the other. And also in China they believe in Chinese traditional medicine or uh, TCM for short which has been around for thousands of years. Um, it's a more holistic approach to medicine. Of course they have Western medicine here in China but um, it's a little bit newer to them and a lot of people still practice traditional Chinese medicine. Um, but the ideas in these are you have to have a balance in your diet and there's the idea of qi as well, which is the energy that you get from your surroundings, from the environment, from the weather, from the sun, um, from what you put into your body. And uh, the food that you eat has to be balanced. Certain foods you eat for certain times of the year, certain foods you can mix with others, but not with others. Some have hot qi, some have cold qi, and you need to find a balance between the two. And meat is an important part of this balance and so they believe that you have to have some meat along with your vegetables as well for the most part and uh, part of it's this balance thing and part of it's uh, the protein that you require um, which is the same in the West uh, a lot of people in the West feel that you need meat in your diet uh, for protein to, to grow strong um, to be healthy but uh, of course vegetarians and, and vegans would argue that you don't need meat in your diet um, you can get plenty of protein from vegetables, from beans, nuts, seeds, dairy, eggs, things like that. Um, but I'm not here to argue about that. Um, I'm not here to promote vegetarianism or veganism or, uh, or say one's better than the other or convert anybody. Um, uh, but I will say that in the West, I think that we eat too much meat. I've noticed they don't eat as much here in China. They eat smaller portions of meat. But in the West, we just we eat so much and uh, just definitely don't eat that much in our diets. Anyway, that aside, um, so the Chinese do believe that you do need meat in your diet using traditional Chinese medicine. On the other hand of things, you have Buddhism. Uh, there's a lot of Buddhists in China. And in Buddhism, of course, they believe you shouldn't kill any living creature, whether that's a cow or a fish or a bird or an insect. And it has to do with uh, reincarnation and karma. And uh, the belief is that um, all living creatures, uh, they're in this process of uh, reincarnating through their lives. And the highest level you can reach is to become human. And uh, so if you kill a cow or if you kill an insect, even a mosquito, you're uh, potentially killing uh, somebody who was a human in the past. Maybe somebody you knew in a past life, maybe your mother or something. So they don't believe in eating meat. And uh, this whole idea is what kind of got me into veget vegetarianism indirectly. Um, I've been living in a Buddhist temple since I've been here. I'm not Buddhist, but um, I came to China to practice martial arts for a year. and. Uh, the uh, school that I'm in is in a Buddhist temple. And uh, in the West I had a lot of uh, unhealthy habits. Um, I was overweight, a lot of unhealthy eating habits, smoking, drinking, things like that. 
um, lack of discipline and I wanted to change some of those things. So that's why I came here. But um, I will admit that I do occasionally eat meat, maybe once a month or so. Uh, maybe if a friend's trying a dish that I've never tried before and I'm curious, or sometimes they screw my order up in China and give me some meat and I don't want to cause a fuss, so I just eat it. Um, or if I'm with family or something during the holidays, I'll eat some meat occasionally. So I'm sure a lot of you would argue, you know, you eat meat occasionally, so you're not really vegetarian. Um, and that's fine. Um, I became, I'm trying to become vegetarian for environmental reasons and ethical reasons. And I'm eating 95% less meat than I used to. And uh, I'm trying, so give me a break. But uh, anyway, so that's how they feel in China about vegetarianism. And uh, so for you, enough about me, for you coming to China, what's it like being vegetarian? Um, if you're coming to China uh, for a couple weeks or something and you're on vacation or you're coming for business and you go to a first tier city, um, the, the tier system in China is how they rank their cities, it's by size, how developed it is, how westernized it is. So if you're coming to a tier one city, the most developed cities, you're going to find a lot of uh, western food options. Um, a lot of things you're used to back in the west. So it's going to be pretty easy for you to find vegetarian and even vegan food. Um, but the trade-off is going to be the price. Uh, Western, pre Western uh, restaurants in China, the prices are pretty much equivalent to what they'd be in the U.S. About the same price. Sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on the, uh, the uh, restaurant, how fancy it is. But uh, you're going to be able to find salads and, and uh, vegan burritos and veggie burgers and things like that. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. But if you're in China for an extended period of time, you may not be able to afford that. Um, one of the reasons I love China is because it's so cheap, especially the food. And um, I will occasionally eat at Western restaurants, but that's just a treat. Um, as I said, I live in a Buddhist temple, so the majority of the time I'm eating in the temple, which is vegetarian food, and it's really good. Um, I love it. Um, but occasionally I'll eat at a Western restaurant. Maybe I want some uh, pizza or a, or a veggie burger or a burrito or something. But um, for the most part, when I'm eating out, I usually eat at little local places. Um, actually, here's one right here. Ignore the uh, chicken in the window. That's the chicken restaurant. That's not the best example. But there's a lot of these little hole-in-the-wall, uh, family-owned little restaurants you find around China. And they all have a lot of vegetarian options. Um, things like uh, shuzai jiaozi, like uh, um, vegetable dumplings, um, jidan chow mian, jidan chow fan, uh, egg fried rice or noodles, um, things like that. Uh, potatoes, um, like uh, stir fry vegetable dishes, things like that. And they're all pretty cheap. So you can find a lot of options. Um, vegan, on the other hand, Sometimes a little harder because they put an egg in a lot of things. Um, but dairy isn't a thing here in China. It's not very popular. So you don't have to worry about that. You're not going to have to worry about cheese or anything like that. Cheese or creams or anything. So veganism's a little hard, much a little harder here in China. Um, you just have to uh, keep your eye out. But as far as vegetarianism, you should be good. But uh, the thing you have to be aware of in China is the, uh, the food standards or the uh, health standards as far as food um, aren't really up to par. Uh, it's not quite what we have in the, in the West. Um, there's a lot of contamination in China. Yeah, you never know where the uh, vegetables are being grown, if they're being grown in contaminated soil or something like that. So you have to be aware of that. Um, I'm a little lucky because I'm in Yunnan province, which is in southern China, and it's one of the greenest uh, it's, it's less populated in one of the greenest uh, provinces in China. And uh, you find a lot of uh, people around the city growing vegetables and stuff, which is really cool. And also when you go out in the countryside, people are growing vegetables everywhere. In the valleys, you see farms everywhere and terraced up on the mountains, you see farms. So it, it's pretty good here in, in southern China, or in Yunnan province where I'm at. But um, still it's something you have to be aware of. Also. Um, how the food is handled, you have to be careful of. Um, I've seen several times, I've seen uh, you know, boxes of vegetables being hauled around the city through the dirty streets on the back of motorbikes. Um, 
they sometimes they drop them on the ground they store them on the floor in their restaurant um, and assuming they wash the vegetables uh, they're washing it with tap water here in China which is not drinkable uh, if you come to China do not drink the water out of the tap you will get sick uh, just buy bottled water or if you're at a Western restaurant or something and they serve you water you're gonna be fine but uh, just something to be aware of um, so there's all these factors um, when it comes to these little little restaurants and this doesn't apply so much as to uh, like fancier Western restaurants like I was talking about before um, those restaurants usually buy um, from uh, the, the vegetables they buy are clean they properly wash them and inspect them so it's not so much to worry about but it's mostly the uh, more local kind of places and another thing that's interesting is salad in the west salad is pretty common uh, everywhere you go whether it's a fancy restaurant or a steakhouse or uh, a little diner or even even some fast food restaurants you can get a salad um, but it's not really a thing here in China they always cook their vegetables um, and it's for these these reasons I'm assuming um, this probably has to do with cold chi and things like that and maybe it's better for you to cook them they think but um, there's all the uh, health safety the food safety standards and everything to think about so even if they did offer a salad in a little little uh, local restaurant um, I'd be pretty pretty skeptical um, I wouldn't do it I just uh, just really cooked um, so you're not gonna find salads but there are a lot of veggie options as I said before so for the most part to sum things up vegetarianism in China can be easy um, it's not as easy as it is in the West, of course, but um, uh, you're not going to starve to death. You just have to be a little more careful. Another quick note I'd like to add is that, uh, as I said before, they sometimes screw my order up in China and uh, give me some meat. Uh, that's something to be aware of. Um, sometimes, just with the language barrier, you ask for no meat and it gets misinterpreted and they bring you meat anyway, or they bring you a different type of meat. Um, also, when they think of meat here in China, they think of things like beef and pork. Um, fish and chicken aren't really considered meat as much. So there's been a couple occasions where I've ordered pork or beef something and I asked them to put no meat in it and they brought me back a dish with chicken in it instead. And then I said, what's the deal? I asked for no meat. And they said, well, we didn't put any pork or beef in it. I thought that's what you wanted. So um, that happens occasionally. Also sometimes I've ran into uh, situations where maybe a soup or uh, or something maybe it's it's made with like a like a beef stock or chicken stock or something um, so it doesn't actually have chunks of meat in it um, but they sometimes they consider that vegetarian as well because there's no physical meat in it anyway I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I'll see you guys next time